So we're all sitting here patiently waiting for, you know, prices to run, for developments to launch, and I guess probably just more clarity when it comes to all things in the Shiba Inu ecosystem, right? We know that obviously Shy the stablecoin is coming. We know wallets are coming. We know the metaverse is coming. And one thing that we've been waiting on specifically is some information about the renouncing of the bone contract. Well, we did get some of that information uh, last night. So what we saw was Kyle, I can't, I want to say his last name is Diarrhea. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle Daria released a blog post today explaining why the team has yet to renounce the bone contract. According to Kyle, the initial design of Bone has added to the complexity of minting the remaining Bone supply and also renouncing its contract. He noted that the token was initially designed to protect investors. As a result, certain measures were implemented to avoid human interference, including adding a time lock contract controlled by a group. Not sure what group that is. Based on the complexity of Bone count contract renouncement, he said that the SHIB team would conduct thorough testing before implementing the procedure on the mainnet. He highlighted some steps involved in renouncing the token's contract. These include creating a new liquidity pool, minting bone to desired value, and eventually renouncing the contract. Furthermore, he said the SHIB development team will use a time lock contract with a delay for safety. Interestingly, he added that the team has started the process of renouncing the bone contract. However, he clarified that the procedure will take time as there is need to be cautious. We have already started this process, but like anything, it will need to be done very carefully. It will take as much time as needed to finish. So they are beginning it, guys. We have officially started the, the you know, renouncing of the bone contract, which is a great thing that provides, I think, a lot of clarity that people have been waiting on. I've seen this question a bunch of times. And frankly, guys, I just I haven't had the answers to give you because, again, they've been kind of hush hush in this regard. But this is a big step for the ecosystem. I want people to realize that, okay? This was a big thing that needed to be done before we start to get to some of the other things, you know, ShibaSwap 2.0 and, and many of the other launches and developments that are happening within this space. That's what has been needed. Now, obviously, we're just continuing to buzz along. The chain's still looking good. We had a sharp drop off in transactions last night, but, it, you know, it didn't it didn't crater or anything like that. So this is obviously a great sign. Uh, bone price is still hanging around 81 cents. I'm really liking bone at these prices, guys. Um I'm probably going to be loading up on some bone very soon here. I, I want to see what is happening with BTC here. You know, if we're going to hold this 26 K range, see if we might go through a little bit of a pullback here, but we're actually looking pretty strong. I'm very surprised that we're climbing at the rate we are. You know, if you guys didn't see my video last night, I'm very surprised that September has been as good as it has so far. I'm a little leery on that. So we'll obviously wait and, and see what happens there. So, but I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this information is something useful for you. I think it is. It's great that they're finally providing some clarity here. We'll obviously see how long this takes to happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show your support below. Hope you guys have a wonderful start to your weekend. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.